David asked Jonathan, why does your father want to kill me? Jonathan said, my father doesn't want to kill you. If he did, I would know it. He doesn't hide anything from me. David said, as sure as there's a God, as sure as you are alive, your father does want to kill me. Jonathan said, tell me what you want to do and I'll do it. David said, I'm supposed to be at a three-day banquet with the king. If he asks you where I'm at, tell him that you gave me permission to go to Bethlehem because there's an annual festival there and my entire clan will be there. If he doesn't get angry, then he's not mad at me and it's safe. But if he does get angry, then we both know he hates me and wants to kill me. If you find out that he has good reason to kill me, then you come here and you kill me yourself. Jonathan said, I will go and I will find out if my father hates you. And he does. I will send you away in peace. But remember the pledge that we have one another that we made before the Lord. That if something happens to me and the Lord blesses you, that you'll take care of my children. And you'll treat them as if they're your children and they'll be safe. Now here's my plan. I will come back here. You're to hide in the field that has the big rock. I will go there and I will shoot three arrows out in the field and I'll send my servant to go get them. Once he's gone, I'll yell something after him and, and, and if I yell, they're on this side of the rock, then you'll know it's safe and you can come back. But if I say, they're on the other side of the rock, then you know you need to run because my father is trying to kill you. Jonathan went to the banquet and on the first day, Saul noticed that David wasn't there, but he didn't say anything. On the second day, he said to Jonathan, where is that son of Jesse? Oh, I gave him permission to go to Bethlehem. Uh, they're having a big sacrifice there and his entire family's involved so his brothers insisted that he be there. Saul flew into a rage. He said, you, you son of a prostitute. I know what you're doing. You're trying to help him out. Oh, don't you realize that he's trying to take your kingdom away from you? Oh, you're a, you're a shame to our entire family. Now go get David and bring him back here so I can kill him. Jonathan yelled at him, What has he done? Why do you want to kill him? Saul grabbed a spear and threw it at Jonathan. Jonathan got up and left the room. He didn't eat anything for the rest of that day. In the morning, he went out to the field where David was hiding. He shot three arrows beyond the rock, sent his servant to go get them. Then he yelled after the servant, They're out beyond the rock! Hurry! Hurry and get them. Go quickly. Servant brought the arrows back. 
Then Jonathan gave him all the equipment and told him to go, to go back to the city. Once he was gone, David came out of hiding. The two of them hugged. And they cried. Jonathan said, go. Go and run for your life. My father does want to kill you. So they parted ways. And David left.